Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a little video about how to flush an engine. So flushing an engine is a little concern that many people are having. Some say you don't need, really need a flush if you've been um, doing your oil changes and if you've been servicing your car regularly enough. But some people say over the time when the cars get higher and higher kilometers, high mileage, so they can start developing a little bit of sludge inside the engines and over the time the oil can break down into uh, thinner particles so the oil performance will drop so either way so I'm going to do a little test to see if just a regular oil change is um, enough or should be able, uh, we be able to get some more crud and gunk out of the engine just by putting uh, an engine just for this video flush. I'm going to be checking the Liquimoli engine flush plus now there are a few other brands in the market like a win there's a brand called win and there's another brand called new lawn and there are a few few things few products that you can use for this but i'm going to go with the uh, flush your solvents this is the most expensive and also it's uh, made in germany uh, but being being the most expensive and having made in germany doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the best product so um, I've, I have had some good luck with this product before, I mean with this brand, so that works, so that's why I try to put that into the test. So let's go ahead, jack up the car and get to the drain pipe. The way I'm going to do this test is very simple and straightforward. So the first, I need two cups, so I'm going to get these two cups and to the first one. I'm going to get a sample of old used oil that I can get straight out of the drain pan, uh, drain plug and then I'm going to fill the engine with the engine flush solvent and let the engine idle for like 10 minutes and get a second sample uh, then I'm going to be draining the entire content into a drain pan, pan. and by uh, while doing that I'm going to get another sample to the second cup so the first cups should be having the normal yeast oil and the second cup is having the engine oil that was flushed by the solvent so if you see a big color difference if you, uh, if you see a big difference in the color for the second um, cup second oil sample that means we have been able to get more crud and gunk out of the engine than what we would be able to get with uh, a normal oil tone so let's see how that goes Alright, so now we have got our first sample of the engine oil, the used ones. So now let's go ahead and put this um, brand new bottle, engine oil flush, engine flush plus. And it says it's going to remove oil sludge, which is exactly what I'm after. So let's go ahead and put that into the engine. So as soon as I take my engine oil cap, I notice that there's a little bit of sludge. And also looking down the, looking down the actual oil fill cap there's a little bit of sludge inside as well so apparently the previous owners of the car has missed some main, uh, maintenance on the car so let's try if I can fix that Okay, the 15 minutes have gone by, so it's, try, uh, it's time to kill the engine and drain the rest of the oil and see the results. So now the conclusion. So 
the cap on the right side is our regular yeast oil and the cap on the left side contains the oil that we collected after the 15 minutes flush. So you can clearly see there's a lot of sludge residue in the flushed oil sample. It's all dark. Also, this all dark crud is what we just drain out from the engine. So you compare the flushed oil sample from the uh, used unflushed sample doesn't have as many crud so so I'm jumping into the conclusion of um, having your oil change with a flush is, is much better than having your regular oil change without flush so this will allow more sludge and gunk so going out of the engine that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you like more DIY videos like this subscribe to this channel and if you like this video press the like button I'll see you in the next video